we did want to share our story with everybody just because if we can help one person out there this came out of nowhere this this hit us you know it blindsided us right so we're both I don't know how. Thirty-six years old, uh, you know. Again, her being from Thailand, a very healthy diet. I mean, we don't eat junk food. We're very healthy people, and uh, you know, don't maybe, drink, don't smoke. Don't drink, don't smoke. Occasionally, you know, drink, but not recently. That's everybody. I know that's everybody. It was just a typical day, you know. I was with my son. I was cooking some pizza. I came into the living room and uh, asked her if she wanted a slice of pizza. You know, she said no thanks and one minute later I turned around and she was face down on the couch in a very awkward position I knew something was very wrong but actually at first I thought she was just joking I was like what what is she doing and I turned back around and went to take a bite of my pizza and a Hot Wheels car hit my shoulder and I turned back around again and she was in the same spot and looking very very weird and right away I knew something was wrong so uh, called 911 immediately, and I knew it was a stroke right away because she was uh, paralyzed on her, her left side. Nothing was working, and scariest moment of my life. But I guess my point is, like, anything can happen at any moment. It was surreal, and uh, I got on the phone. My son was, you know, panicking. I was panicking, but they got here quick. They brought her to the hospital. You know, there was some sort of medicine called PBD that if you get it, to the person fast enough it will unclot you know whatever's going on inside unfortunately that that did not work so they had to do a procedure where they go in the artery up into your brain and they unclot it and they did that and it was successful they got it um and then two days later it clotted again and, uh, you know, a few people did ask, you know, what's wrong with her head? What's wrong with her skull? Not to be disrespectful, you know, they wanted to know. And I figured, you know, let's let's describe what happened. So anyway, the, uh, the brain was swelling too much. It was pushing against the skull and uh, it could have, you know, it could have killed her if it kept swelling. So they had to remove, you know, a piece, a piece of... Yeah, one of my videos, I said that it happened on the left, but uh, the damage and everything was on the right side, which is in control of everything on the left. She can't move her arm and she can't move her leg right now, but with a lot of rehab, you know, she is able, she's doing some walking and her left arm is starting to show some promise. But, you know, the second time it, it clotted, they couldn't go in there and do anything about it. So they just had to let it be unfortunately so you know they they told us that the right side of the brain is pretty much died or you, you know they couldn't do anything about it so i mean one good thing is that it wasn't the left side the left side's in control of memory and you know language and all that so luckily it wasn't that side it was more of the mobility side you know mobility was a factor personality is it's definitely changed i'm not gonna lie it comes and goes but it's coming back. We're hopeful that everything will, you know, come back in some way. But uh, I guess to fast forward, actually, do you mind if, if we show it just so could be, people can get a better understanding? So it, this whole section that's kind of compressed, decompressed, I think is what they called it. Because it was swelling so much, it came out to like here. And then now the brain is starting to go down. And that's where you get that that decompression. Once she gets through chemo, this piece will be put back on. I believe the doctors told us that it's going to be a 3D printed piece. But unfortunately, we have to wait for the chemo, which brings me to our next. My next point is, is what could cause all of this to happen? They, they found ovarian cancer, type of cancer. I believe it's called clear cell carcinoma. The type of cancer this is, really, it clots your, your blood. So that's how I, I got the strokes. Exactly. So that's that's how the strokes happen. That's one of the side effects. So I guess to, you know, rewind, I know your period was, not to get too personal, but your period was on the clotty side. It was thick and that wasn't normal. And then one, one day, you know, a few months before this happened, her knee was swollen for no reason and they thought it was Lyme disease and uh, they took the test and that was negative. And then her left arm also swelled up and, uh, you know, we didn't think anything of it. Just went away. It worked itself out. So Anyway, I think our main point is go get tested, you know, go get checked out. Don't wait 
you know, do the mammograms, do the testing, you know, be safe, play it safe because, you know, we can't go back in time. It is what it is and we're, we're dealing with it. But I know in the ICU when she came out, one of the very first things she said was, this is awful and I would love to just help people so that they don't have to go through anything like this. So if we could just help one person, you know, maybe this all happened for us to help one person. You know, maybe this all happened for us to share our story, to help one of you to say, ah, oh, you know what, maybe I will go get checked. And you get checked out and they do find something and hopefully they caught it at an early stage. And that makes this all, you know, all worthwhile. Again, if we could just save, you know, one person. Anyway, to get back to what happened, she got sent down to Lenox Hill and they had to do a full hysterectomy because it did spread down there. But good news is it, they don't think it spread anywhere else in her body. It wasn't in the lymph nodes. So they just, they took everything out. She's such a warrior. I'm just so impressed with her. She's doing an absolutely amazing job. She's doing chemotherapy every Tuesday. And then she has really intense rehab on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And she's a trooper. She's doing it without complaining. I mean, obviously fatigue is a factor and luckily the chemo is not really affecting her too much but again that's that's kind of our story and i made that video before not to you know somebody mentioned like oh why would you make your wife feel like a burden it wasn't to do that at all it was just uh like i said in the beginning i'm keeping everybody at a distance because i can't chance her getting sick or bringing anything in here so it's been very hard and lonely on my end as a caretaker and it's just been really tough to see my wife go through this i mean our family like literally we had the perfect family before all this we traveled disney you know we were raising our son and everything was going really uh, really great and then this just came and blindsided us so i was always thought nothing like this would ever happen to us when i say she's the most kind-hearted soul on this planet um I really mean it. She's, that's, what, you know, one of the main reasons I married her was just her heart, her soul is just amazing. It's, it's pure. It's, it's beautiful. And yeah, anyway, you know, not to take away from the fact she's doing so well, you know, it's, it just takes, it's just going to be a long road. It's going to take a lot of time, but uh, I guess to sum this up, you know, thank you everybody for all your support. Thank you for the donations. I mean, complete strangers donating 20 30 40 50 it's it's unbelievable and that's uh, definitely changed my perspective on just people in general you know people are good people are kind and you know we can't thank you enough and you know i'm gonna just post videos of her progress and her rehab so uh, thank you again for everything thank you thank you guys for everything thank you everybody and we'll talk soon thanks guys